good evening. I'm now going to be recording for the 20th of June, which happens to be Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend us in this day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We understand. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, that thy holy Michael Archangel defend me in this day of battle, be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thy prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. The reading for Sunday the 20th of June is from Matthew 26, verse 27. Then he took a cup, and after offering thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you. The Reflection The experience of Eucharist is individual, personal, and uniquely designed for each one of us. We come together as a body of believers, but each of us meets Jesus one on one as we receive him worthily in Holy Communion. And in all we say, Come, Lord Jesus. The prayer for today, Lord Jesus, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body and drink your blood let me receive you frequently and fervently and worthily. Amen. We should be receiving Jesus on the time. We have no, none of us have consecrated hands except the priest. Victim saving us from sin. O Salitura, tell us. O victim, saving us from sin, who opens heaven's gates to us. From Satan, our temptations come, give strength and bring us health. To you, one God, in persons three, we offer everlasting praise, who will give us life that never ends, in heaven, our homeland. Praise of Communion Sacrum Convivum O sacred banquet in which Christ is received, the offering of his passion is renewed, the mind is filled with grace, and the promise of future glory is given to us. Praise of Blessed Eucharist, loud as Sion, Holy Church, now praise your Saviour, who is your King and Shepherd too. So praise in songs and hymns, O praise with all your strength and power, for he is greater than all praise, nor can you praise enough. Remember now his special gift, the living bread which gives us life. Today is set before us, no doubt at all remains with us at table seated with the twelve who gave his loving gift let praise be all complete and loud let hearts be full of joyful praise in gladness and respect O lord jesus christ you said ask and you shall receive seek and you shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you. Grant, we beseech you to us, who ask the gift of your most divine love, that with all our heart, words, and works, we may love you, and never cease to praise you. 
with us, O Lord, a perpetual fear and love of your holy name. For you never cease to guide those whom you firmly establish in your love. Lord, I believe in you, hope in you, love you. Help me to please you in all that I do. The loving thought of Jesus, Jesu Dulcis Memoria. The loving thought of Jesus brings true joy to every human heart. But greater joy than even this, his gracious presence brings to us. No clearer tune is ever sung, no gentler word is ever heard, no sweeter thought can fill our mind than Jesus Christ, the Son of God. O oh, Jesus, hope of penitence, how kind you are when asked for help, how good to those who seek yourself, but more to those who find you. Our human words can never tell, nor can our language ever state what loving Jesus really means. He only knows who truly loves, they who taste desire him more, and they who drink thirst more for him, naught else will satisfy their souls, save Jesus, whom they know and love, O oh, Jesus, Lord, my sweetest King, my living soul's most precious hope, with tears of love and prayers of soul, I long to meet you ever mine. O oh, always stay with us, dear Lord, and give us light to guide our way. Drive out the darkness from our souls and fill the world with peace and joy. O oh, Jesus, Virgin Mother's child, O oh, love, we give your sweetest sweetness here. To you be honour and all praise on earth and in our heavenly home. O oh, Jesus, then be thou our joy, who are our future sweet reward. May all give glory at all times, while never ending ages past. An act of consecration to the Sacred Heart. Most sweet Jesus, Redeemer of the human race, look down upon us humbly, kneeling before your altar. We belong to you and we desire to remain yours forever, in order that we may be more strongly united to you. Which one of us here today truly offers himself to your most sacred heart? Many indeed have never known you. Many have disobeyed your commandments and rejected you. Have mercy on them all, most merciful Jesus, and draw them all to your most sacred heart. O Lord, be King of those who have turned their backs on you, as well as of those who have never left you. Grant that they may return to their Father's house, so that they will not lose their souls by sin. O Lord, be the King of those who have been led astray by error and who are separated from you. Bring them back to the one true church so that soon there may be one fold and one shepherd. O Lord, be the King also of all those who have no religion. Deliver them out of the darkness into the light and kingdom of God. Grant to your church, O Lord, freedom and security. Give peace and good government to all nations. Make the earth ring out from the end to end with one voice saying, Praise to the divine heart which has brought about our salvation. To him be glory and honour. Thank you for listening. And may God bless you and heal you I'm sending you this peace in abundance. And may you always be happy and joyful in the Lord. And once again, thank you so much for listening. Have a blessed evening.